So I tried to make some salt cured deer ham and I didn't know if this was gonna work because I hadn't seen a whole lot of this. So the first part of this video is just pictures. Sorry about that. So I start with a whole deer ham here. I've trimmed off some of the outside silver skin and then I've just got two parts salt to one part brown sugar. I'm just using table salt that doesn't have iodine in it. And I just put that all over the ham as best I can. And this was the same time that we were doing those 13 strawberry pretzel salads. So I stuck it in a cooler with some ice for a couple of days. Then the internet was like, hey, you can get canning salt. that has got nitrates in it and it's better for preserving or something like that. So I, you know, went and got some. And before I put it on there, I did cut a little slice just to see how terribly salty this was going to be. I cooked it and it was pretty salty. But I knew that most of the salt was going to penetrate because it had only been a couple of days. So I proceeded to put the canning salt all over it. And then at this point, I moved it into the refrigerator into a glass dish because we didn't have 13 strawberry pretzel salads taking up all that space. Every couple days, I would turn it over and pat it dry just to keep as much moisture off of it as I possibly could. And this point right here is 20 days after I started. I'm just taking the bone out right here, just taking a plain knife and slicing all the way down to the bone and just pulling the bone out of the meat. Once the bone was removed, I then just started breaking it down into larger sections and trying to remove as much silver skin as possible without just absolutely breaking every single thing down. Once you get this into more manageable pieces, it would be a great time to break out your meat slicer, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, just kidding it's just me my camera guy and my editor so i just keep working with my fillet knife and slice these up about a quarter of an inch thick and uh cooked one piece up and some bacon grease to make sure that everything was good and stuff and it was fantastic so cut everything else up and got it all laid out and i vacuum sealed it up if you're gonna have some cuts like towards the knuckle that are kind of small and stuff and I put them in a separate bag. They're great in like a crock pot full of beans or whatever, but the rest of this is like biscuit slash sandwich size ham, and it's fantastic. So of course I made up some biscuits and made some ham biscuits, and there was stuff left in the skillet. So of course I made gravy with that because that's what I do here in the South. Anyway, it doesn't taste exactly like pork, but on a biscuit, You'd be hard pressed to find someone that can tell the difference. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. Uh, your mileage may vary, but thanks for watching, guys.